right, we have for you here Alchemist vs. Musher. This is a round one match from the RuneScape Chronicles final uh, tournament. It is a re-recording, a post-tournament recording. This is this is round one. This is Musher vs. Alchibus. Um We have looks like Agro Vanescula coming from Alcubus that were at his perspective, if you could notice. Uh, he's going to get a KGP, which is nice. He's got a lots of three health dudes to go into with that. A little bit of healing. He's got some potions. I wonder if we'll see the Pop Mambo come out. Would feel good. Uh, going to figure out what exactly order does he want to throw it in. Is going to take the KGP, just so he doesn't take a lot of damage. Does he want the health or does he want the potions? Not entirely sure if he wants it. He knows he wants the card draw. He was debating because of the unstable concoction. That's that's a lot of damage. So he wants to keep it. It is getting discarded by KGP. Absolutely. Uh, every time, Musher getting with the KGP discards a ogre on him. That's a lot of damage. Uh, Bouncer gonna hit on the Crassian Warrior. So that feels good. The Bouncer is going to get Musher up to 6 base, could go into a lot of different things, goes into the Dagonoth, that was not what I was expecting to see come out. Uh, he's still got a decent amount of health after hitting into that. Um, not quite mortal, but it's going to be just fine. We got some banter going on over here in, uh, in chat with those two. Um, yeah, he's he's real surprised that he went into a Dagonoth. He's like, what is this? No way. Uh, Musher going to draw cards and with uh, White Wolf going up to four base attack. Moving into slot or chapter two. He's not quite at mortal, but he could... I mean, I'm not even sure that too many of Musher's cards are going to activate with mortal, so he doesn't need to worry about it too, too much. We do have a Treus Daith out there, which he's going straight into, so that could bring some pain if Musher doesn't plan to have one less base attack, which is hit or miss a lot of times in these aggro Vanescula decks. It doesn't look like his is super aggro. It's more of a mid-range aggrozan, or not aggrozan, mid-range aggro Vanescula. So we'll, we'll see if he ends up dealing a lot of damage because of that or if he ends up being okay. Uh, Musher does go into the Cerebus, which is going to give him up to mortal, it does give him health. He's going to lose the base attack on this one, which makes him take an extra four points of damage. It's not going to kill him, and he will be fine. It's just going to hurt a little bit more than he was going to expect. So he's going to go up to armor. He's going to have eight armor at the end of this chapter, and he's going to have f two health because of the Bergdrot Citizen. Uh, Alcabus seems to be in a pretty nice position. He's got the one health from that, and he's he's down on base attack, but if he can get uh, some good damage output cards, such as Werewolf Rebel, that's a nice one, because he can hit that, takes away half of Musher's armor. If Musher draws Cully, this could be a lot more difficult. Uh, he could war the opponent into Sergeant Crim Spikes. He could, mu he could, uh, oh, there's a ton of options that he's got. Uh, Alchemist has a ton, a ton, ton. He's basically playing for Musher to not get Cully. And here, he would be hoping that Musher plays the Cully and tanks the eight. He would still live, though, and he'd go back up to enough health. So that's a little more of a risky play. He's going to draw potions at the end. Not sure if he really needed that, but he did anyways. And the joke is on Alchemist because his next creature is aggressive and up a health. That's going to kill him. Uh, Musher, with the play, with the reads, it's going to hit the werewolf rebel. The werewolf is going to hit him for five. He's going to hit him for five and then hit him for two. So there's no way that he survives this. So game one goes fairly quickly to Musher. Well played. Going into game number two, we've got our 
Alchemist playing the Ozan deck, going up against Musher. This is up. Musher is now up 1-0 over Alchemist. This is a best of three series. Um, it is going to be Ozan versus Ozan. Are we going to see a mirror match, or are we going to see somebody go mid-range, somebody go aggro, somebody go AP gain? Uh, Alchemist has a pretty solid um, aggro, not aggro, mid-range deck here with the Ketzek and the Advertisement. Twitch has decided we're back. So he's got a nice uh, mid-range, it looks like, with the Ketzek. That's probably going to be the damage output that he's looking for. Going to dig deep for a Noom to go into that bill rack. Since he's slot one, it seems a little easier. Okay, there's some good damage output coming from him in the wilderness. That's not a lot of great options, though, just as a chapter. I think he tossed away as a little bit of a greedy mulligan. He was hoping for some something better i think uh, i'm not entirely sure what he i guess i yeah i know what he was hoping for he was hoping for uh a noom into bill rack that's that's what he wanted and now that he tossed away an averagely decent hand he's on the back foot just straight up if musher is doing any, oh if he plays noom into bill rack that feels that feels bad um wait for it Wait for it. Nope, it isn't. Okay. So, uh, Musher is going to be on the back foot for this one at this point now. Uh, not Musher. Alchemist on the back foot. Musher dealing a good bit of damage in this chapter one slot uh, with the battle. Okay. So, we have a extra base attack given to both players because of the Kaizaj, which basically just turns into more damage coming to Alchemist. So, he is really really hurt from that first chapter and he doesn't have a lot of options in his deck yeah he's even talking to him like hey we're we're basically just done he is just gonna concede wow okay that was that was a really fast game too this one goes 2-0 to musher well played to him he's gonna move on to round two uh, and Alchemist is going to drop down to the loser's bracket, which is a best of one, try and redeem yourself sort of format. We'll catch you in the next one.